The other important concept in vector algebra or tensor algebra is contraction process. The contraction process is very helpful to find the dot product of two elements or two tensors or the double dot products. I have already recorded videos about the algebra, vector algebra and in those videos I've introduced the dot product of or the inner product of two vectors over the divergence operator and the double dot product of two matrices. The contraction product or the contraction process, generally speaking, is uh, uh, finally reduces the order of the result by two. When you pr you multiply two, for example, two second order tensors, the sum of orders of these two inputs is four. So, uh, two second order tensors, the sum of orders of the two inputs is four. When you perform the contraction process, the order of result is reduced by two. So the order of uh, result, the order of the result of the contracted product of two matrices is a again second order tensor. Double contracted product reduces the order of sum of order of inputs by four because it's double contracted. Two times two is four. So the double contracted product of two matrices uh, generates a scalar because four minus four is zero. The definition of the contraction process is this. When we perform the contraction process, we set the two nearest indices of the tensor equal to each other. Equal to each other. Two, as in other words, we change the um, two non-repeating indices into a repeating index. And then, based on the Einstein's summation convention, you have to perform the summation rule here. For example, so setting the uh, contraction is setting the two nearest indices of the tensor equal to each other and performing the convention, Einstein's summation convention. For example, I have a second order tensor here, Tij. For example, mm, uh, a stress tensor. When I contract this tensor, it means that I have to set the nearest indices, which are i and j here, equal to each other. So the contracted form of this matrix is TII. i and j in the original form are non-repeating variables. So the order of this mm, tensor is 2. It's a matrix with 9 elements. But when you perform the contraction and you change j here to i, the i index here is a dummy value. It is a dummy index. So you have to perform the summation convention and this uh, is equal to t11 plus t22 plus t33 similar to here, similar to this expression here. So, uh, you can easily understand that uh, why this con the contraction process reduces the order of results by uh, 2. Because we have two uh, non-repeating indices here, so the order of the result is 2. When we change one of them, to, uh, for example, i to j, this is the non, uh, this is the repeating or a dummy variable, so the order of the result is 0. We have no uh, non-repeating index here. So, uh, the order is, 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 is a scalar, but this is a matrix. Uh, so, the contraction process always reduces the order by 2. Another example is the dot product of two vectors. Uh, as I've already recorded videos about the contracted product, the dot product, or the de inner product, or the contracted product, is the result is a uh, Scalar. In vector uh, algebra, we show a vector by one index. So A is AI and B is BJ. The sum of orders of these two entries are 2. 
So the result is the second order tensor. When you perform this contraction or this dot for dot, the result is the contracted form of AIBJ, and uh, again, one of these indices sh uh, should be changed. For example, AIBI, the nearest indices of the tensor equal to each other. So the contracted form of AIBJ is AIBI. So I and J are not repeating indices here. When you perform the contraction process, uh, or only one index remains, and you have to perform the Einstein summation convention. So the order of this uh, expression is zero. So if you expand the final form based on the summation rule, this is a1, b1, plus a2, b2, uh, plus a3, b3, something like this. This is the definition of the dot product or the inner product of two vectors. Another example is the dot product of two tensors. Again, in tensor algebra, we show a second order tensor by Aij using two indices. B again is the BKL. Consider that Ij and Kl are, are different because the, these are two different vectors, different uh, tensors. When you put a dot here, it means that you have to perform the contraction process over the product of two second-order tensors. The result of product of the two uh, second-order tensors is a fourth-order tensor because we have here four non-repeating indices. When you perform the contraction process, uh, you have to find the nearest indices. Here we have J and K. And for example, change uh, K to J. So the contracted form of this product is AIJ, B J L, B J L. Here we have four non-repeating indices. In the result, we have two, just two, non-repeating indices, I and L, and J is a dummy index. So the order of the result is two. The contracted pro product of two matrices is mm, the, the common product of two matrices. You know how to uh, multiply two matrices. The first row of the first matrix should be multiplied by the first column of the second matrix. Uh, this simple uh, term here, uh, if is expanded based on the Einstein summation con convention, will exactly yield the same procedure as you do when you want to multiply two matrices. And the last one is a double pro contracted product. So you, see, you see two dots here. This is the double contracted product of two uh, second order matrices. Uh, the double contracted product reduces the order of, the orders by four because you perform contraction twice. And you know we don't have negative order for a tensor. So the, the max, the minimum sum of orders of inputs has to be 4 when you perform the double contraction because the order of the result is reduced by 4 and the order of the result at least is 0 so the input sum of inputs order of inputs has to be 4 at least so it's not meaningful to perform double contracted product between two vectors or a vector and a for example second order tensor uh, again, in tensor calculus, we show A by AIJ, B, KL. Again, this is a fourth order tensor. When you perform the con double contraction product, the first contraction produces this. And uh, you have to perform another contraction to this uh, tensor. So we have J, which is a uh, dummy index. So uh, ignore it. We have two non-repeating indices, I and L. For example, the second one, L, uh, has to be changed to I. This is the second contraction, or the double contraction process. So the contracted form of this tensor, or the double contracted form of the input, is A, I, J, B, J, I. L should be equal to I. It will be identical. Uh, I and L should, should be shown by one 
dummy variable. Again, because i is a dummy variable, both of in the in the set i and j have to obey the summation Einstein's rule. So this is, the, as you know, the, the product of two matrices, the dot product of two matrices, again, is a matrix. The car double contracted product is the contracted form of this matrix. And I've already told you that the contracted uh, form of a matrix is the trace of that matrix. So we can say when you, if you want to compute the double contracted product of two matrices, you first uh, multiply those matrices as you know how to multi multiply two matrices as common and then compute the trace of the yielded matrix this is the com a double contracted product of two matrices which is used in computing the dissipation turning uh, conservation of energy or is used in um, computing the second invariant of the uh, deformation tensor, which is used in non-Newtonian fluid mechanics.